guys today we are on a small little local lake that is very low it's probably the lowest i've seen it in a few years that could be really really good or it could be bad but we're going to target spotted bass today which i don't do a ton but i do enjoy so we're going to see what kind of spotted bass we can catch how much weight we can catch hopefully catch them you know cranking top water jerk bait stuff like that because the shad migration is in full effect and the shad are moving i've already seen them fishing around here uh in different positions for the early fall so sometimes you can have that collision and it can be really really good so hopefully today that happens and we smash them so we're gonna weigh them 13 pounds of spots is a really good bag we're, we're gonna shoot for that see if we can't catch 13 pounds of spots or more let's go all right got me a regular maverick jerk bait on now that's a freaking giant school of them of little ones i guess which i assume they would be little ones three hooks on him stripes got me a spotted bass there was a wad of stripes and i panned back the stripes were over there and i looked back there was a school spots i was more excited to throw at them than the stripes for sure if anybody oh gosh back in the water He freaking went airborne when he got it. We gonna weigh him, see what he weighs. I think, I think he's a little bigger than that other one we just caught. Oh, please don't flop. I had that in my dang finger. All right, we moved to a little bit more of a protected place. If I was in a tournament, I'd be fishing in the wind, but uh, just ain't feeling like it today, really. We'll just get where it's protected, make it smaller fish, but it'd be more enjoyable. Oh, man, I guess that's a big strike. Come on, jump and be a seven. Well, not even a, not a big strike, but it is a strike. Golly, he came in, he came toward me and made a circle and he yanked jank my rod around and hit me in the head. Uh, let's see what we got here. It may be a white bass. I don't, I don't know the difference. I just know they bite and fight. I know that. 
straight down across the screen. He went down to, and he was in 22. But that's probably the top dog. bottom dog not the top dog get over here boy so somebody told me you could sell these over here for some kind of absurd amount of money what kind of license you need but golly that is in there boy that looks like a top dog for sure come on Oh, came back. Yo, that's the best. Well, I'm telling you, when you hook them on this bait, it is hard to get them off. This is the Gamakatsu Horizon Head with a Mooch Minnow on there. I got the one alt hook. Fits good with the Mooch Minnow. I throw the freeloader on the three alt hook. All right, had to do a little battery change. But I did finally catch a bass in this place. Oh, there's a bunch of them right here. Bunch of them. There's a few of them. That's what I should say. Terrible cast. Spooked him. spots on the old moochie mooch he was a lone soldier no, it, ain't, it ain't a good one I'm gonna weigh him though because I wanted to see if we could get the 13 pounds that's gonna be tough with how it started but there is hope. I don't even know if that's the biggest one I've caught today. Probably, I think I've caught three this size. Let's see what we got. 163. I'll take it. Now the fun part. Saw them in that bait ball. Too deep, they couldn't come get it. Where is my Maverick at? Spot, these are spots. Oh, it came off. Another one got it. Oh my God, there's a million. And they're decent ones too. Oh, I got a little one. I was trying to hook two. Man, that's fun. They are everywhere. A 
decent one. Making a mess of things, boy. Oh, it's a big one with it. Get the other hook. Oh, he got it, he got it. I got two now. Should I try to swing two of them? <laughs> I thought the one with it was a two something, it ain't. Oh, I lost the little one. It's okay though. Or maybe I lost the big one. Yeah, I lost a good one, I think. Oh well. I don't know, this may be the good one. I did have two though. Finally, it took us a while to find them. They're a lot shallower than I expected. See what we got. I think it's a 160 something at least. 176. Number two. No, it says 196. Oh, we lost him. Guarantee the other ones are close by though. Yep on bottom so when you lose one close to the boat and that fish you lose goes to the bottom that's the one they're chasing so then they go to the bottom but a lot of times if you land that fish they'll stay a little higher with that one big single in that bait right there that's what i'm talking about he's only at 30. Oh, got one. Oh, that feels good oh there i had two that was a deal Oh my goodness, dude. They are in here hardcore. Oh, I almost had two that time again. Dude, they're just right here. He ain't bad by any means. And this lake is not like, you know, Lanier, the Coosa River. A three pound spot here is a big one, a really, really good one. There's one. It's a nice one. A little cranking one. It's a little DT8. And what this does, there's always some fish that hang around underneath the bait balls, you know? And if it's shallow enough, I mean, if they're shallow enough i run this under them but also right through the middle of them he feels heavy kind of, I think. 158 
152. Golly, dude, I'm just overstimulated at which ones to throw at. We'll just go all the way through the middle of it. I'm coming up on them. Got him. Little one. Mm. Maybe not little one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. He was up high. I should have retired a while ago, but uh some of the lines are destroyed. That's why I'm gonna grab him. Oh. oh man, he got me that time. He actually nicked me a little. I knew I had saw a couple two pounders like chasing my stuff in. Two and a quarter. 227. We got four for seven something right now. We need just a five pound spot. All right, we have relocated to another little place that sets up pretty similar to the last. There was a school of fish in the last one, so we're gonna try. God, look at that big one with him. I mean, it ain't much bigger, but there's a one with him that's a quarter pound bigger. God, there's a bunch of them here too. He ain't gonna help the spot bag, but he helps the bag for sure. Look at that sucker. There was a school of spots following this bait. And then I saw it got to him and he went straight up there and ate it. I'm not gonna save his weight because we're trying to catch a bag of spots, but I do wanna see what he weighs. So there is a Good sized tournament here today that I was supposed to fish that I did not. 282. Not a bad one. But I would not have caught that fish in that tournament because I would not be doing this. Golly, what is that? Oh my gosh. That would be a spot. I mean, just 100 miles an hour. When he bit it, he was gone. Threw my scale in the water. 
think he's a little bigger than one and a half. Nope, he is one and a half. Golly! I saw him on it, dude. I'm talking about drilled it. That's a good spot, too. Oh my god. Dude, that's crazy. He freaking crushed it. Holy crap. Golly. Crushed it. Caught three of my scale ain't turned off. 222. That gives us nine and a half with all spots in a couple hours. My goodness, dude. Dang. Alright, so. We fell a little short of our goal of uh, 12 or 13 pounds. And best five ended up being like 960, I think, 940, something like that. Had a couple that I didn't weigh that maybe would have gave me a little more weight, but it's not that big a deal. I went in a tournament, so I was just, I thought I would catch more two pounders. And I really didn't. And I never had one of those big bites, but uh, probably fish for three hours i guess so caught a lot of fish for three hours just no no good ones biggest fish for that large mouth which makes sense that's usually how it goes here that's why usually in tournaments i fish for large mouth even though there's not very many of them but anyways hope you enjoyed that video gotta catch them on scope with a uh, very few minnow catches so pretty fun but about to take the boat out now and head to the house got kind of dark might rain for real